small businesses in Sumter, already hard hit by the virus, are preparing for the possibility of a second surge. It's tough. Uh, we're already at 50% capacity, as, as much as we can do. For a small restaurant like this, it hurts you. Drew Estep is the general manager at J.O. Grady's on Main. Like many restaurants, they've had to adjust. Mom and pop restaurants, that'll hurt you all day long. He worries as the winter approaches and coronavirus cases continue to rise, what will that mean for business? We're implementing plans now if, you know, we do have another shutdown to where no inside dining and only outside dining. We're going to try to stick with it as best we can. We're not, we're not willing to go anywhere. If we go down, we're going down with a fight, a big one. We'll just keep implementing whatever we have to do to keep our doors open. According to state health officials, much of the Midlands, including Sumter County, now has a high rate of infection. In March, you know, I really just had to ask myself, do I want to move forward with this business venture? If not, this is a good time to close the doors. Stephanie Dowling decided to open her five-year business, One Accord, in a new location, downtown Sumter. We've been in this location for a month now, and downtown has been great for us. I am concerned about it, but... You know, it's out of my control. We just have to trust and um, keep putting one foot in front of the other, and hopefully we'll all be standing when this is over. I also reached out to the Sumter School District. They say they're planning to update families tomorrow with their response to the rising number of cases of the coronavirus in our state. Reporting in Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.